UvaldeRadio.net, your concert station. That is Wade Bowen and uh, one called uh, Everything Has Your Memory, uh, an award-winning song. And we're excited about the big show coming up Friday night, House Pasture, Concan, Texas, Uvalde County. With me on the phone, please welcome the amazing, the talented, award-winning Mr. Wade Bowen. Uh, thank you. Man. Thank you very much. Dude, you are on fire, brother. <laughs> well, thanks, man. So we're the, working hard, that's for sure. Yeah, the last time I saw you was at the uh, T three R Awards uh, this spring, and uh, man, you just you took home all the hardware, huh? Your your hands are full. You couldn't even hold your drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well it was nice, you know. We uh, we obviously don't don't do the you know make records and stuff for awards, but but when you do get them, it sure is nice, and it's a it's a nice little bonus for sure, and to have uh, you know. It was just a great night all the way around, you know. We won some stuff, and Aaron Watson and all those guys. So it was Flatland Cavalry. It was a fun night, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you walked away with Male Vocalist of the Year, and then you had, what, Single of the Year for Everything Has Your Memory, and also the Brandon Jenkins uh, Songwriter Award, right? Right, yeah, which meant a lot to me. Brandon was a good friend of mine and uh, was a good good, good person. And so, you know, it, I loved when they named that award after him and then to actually win it. It was pretty surreal, you know, it brought back a lot of memories of us hanging out together and t- doing shows together, and, and uh, so, yeah, it was a really special moment. Typically, uh, how much fun do you have with those awards uh, shows? I know I-, I had a blast, and it looked like you were having a good time. I don't know, I can't remember if I got to shake your hand that, that evening. You were super busy, and then you even got up on stage at the post party with Kinfo and did Saturday Night. That was really fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, I, I had a blast. You know, I don't... I haven't, I haven't really gotten to do that much over the last few years. We've mm-hmm. been so busy. I either couldn't make the awards or I had to just go do them real quick and then get out of there. So so that was a really enjoyable night to just, you know, just soak it in, soak it up and, and just relax and enjoy. Now, I remember when, when the, the latest album came out, um, you were on fire about it. You were excited about it. You were, you know, really excited about it. this is an album that you produced. And you're right. It's just such a solid record. And it's it's got legs. And uh, just brag about brag about the new album, man, because it, it seems like you're just getting started with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, exactly. I was so excited because I produced the first record I produced on my own. And uh, just really felt like that batch of songs was the best I've ever put together. And, and to, to, you know, to see people react and respond to it has been really good it's been really good for our show too you know that's one of the reasons i make records is <clears throat> to add to our show and it's really done that it's really helped our show be more fun i think and, and really you know add some good stuff to that so um yeah it's been fun to watch it's really fun to watch the records grow over the year you know and it came out last august and it's just it's just cool to watch them slowly kind of find their way in your career you know they, they've all kind of done that in their own way it is a strong batch of songs and i wonder you know because you know you've got your hits you've got years and years and years and albums worth you know of material that you got to fit in you know a set and then when you when you put out a record that's this strong um it must be hard to to choose which ones actually make it in and which ones you got to take out you know does that, does that make sense i mean uh, because you because you got so much good yeah. stuff on this record right yeah, well, yeah, that's that's really difficult, you know. And I, I I wrote a lot for this record, so there's a lot that I I didn't put on the record. And, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but you just save them for another one, or yeah. heck, one. Of, there's a song on there, "Knowing Me Like I Do," that I wrote about ten years ago. So you know, I, <clears throat> I always go back in the catalog, and and then you know, till it does. For example, one of the biggest songs of my career, I didn't record, put it on a record till about eight years after I wrote it. So you know, it's just. Uh, they find their way. Um, the songs find their way to a record somehow if they're if they're good enough, and it just has to be the right timing. And I feel like this group of songs is is really well put together. And you know, I'm already working, starting to work on the next one. So you know, it's just it's fun. I love doing it. It's a really fun process for me, and I really enjoyed being on the other side of it as a producer and, and, and figuring it all out from a different perspective. It's been a lot of fun. Now, going back to that, the the fact that you know this is your first time to produce. Um, was that something that you were a little apprehensive, anxious about? I mean, you obviously have been in the studio for a long time. You've got plenty. You've always had plenty of uh, experience recording. But then to put your put your name on that, you know, on that job title, uh, was that a little nerve wracking, or, or were you ready? Were you ready for it? No, I was very nervous uh, <laughs> at first. Yeah, I, I wasn't real sure because you know when, it's a little different when everyone's looking at you for the you know for direction and mm-hmm. where do you go and what what do you want here and 
that's a different thing. So I, it, it took me a little bit to get used to it, but once I did, I loved it. And you know, it carried me into the the whole my beer stuff that we did. I produced that stuff too that we're releasing here soon. And I, I, I really enjoy the producing side of it. I really, I really had a blast doing it, and I really want to do more of it. Um, I think being nervous is a good thing. You know, it makes you try harder and makes you figure stuff out, and that's exactly what I did. And, um, you know, I had a patient group of musicians as well that, that understood it was my first time and really kind of guided me through it. And it was just a great experience all the way around. I, I truly enjoyed it. Fantastic. Well, again, we're talking to Wade Bowen. He's in concert this Friday, June 9th. House Pastor in Concan. Tickets are on sale now. Housepastor.com. Uh, Wade, you just uh, popped open that can of beer. So um, you mentioned it. Hold My Beer Volume 3 comes out July 7th. And you guys, uh, you and Randy just released uh, the uh, first single off the record. Um, give me the backstory on Hold My Beer 3. I can't believe we're already three records into this thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, we just love doing it so much. and. It's crazy with both of our careers being so busy separately, you know, it's that we found the time to not only tour together, but also make records together. It, it just says a lot about our friendship and how much fun we have doing these shows and doing these records. And I think volume three is, a, a, it, it probably is the most mature <laughs> of the, of the, of the, of the uh, projects that we released. And I think it has a little more depth to it than maybe some of the other ones, but it's still got those fun moments. Like, you know, We Ain't the Only Ones is our current single that we yeah. just released. And, you know, it just talks about our lives, how much we love being on the road and, um, you know, how, how that carries us over into all the friends that we've made through doing this and, and so many more. You know, this this life is, it's a very lonely one, so you, you rely on your friends to carry you through it with it. And, uh, that's what that song's about. You know, we ain't the only ones out here playing on the road, living this life, and chasing down this crazy dream. It's, I think people are going to enjoy it, and we've already got a project set for, for next year as well. So it's fun stuff. I love doing it. I know you guys have announced some limited kind of summer dates. Uh, is that pretty much it? Is that going to be the whole My Beer Volume 3 uh, entire tour, or are you guys going to piece together some more maybe dates in the fall maybe? Uh, you know, I, I, I think I'm not sure. You know, we... we constantly add shows to it it feels like you know mm-hmm. it just kind of shows pop up because people give us a call and want us to come do this or come do that and so i think we'll do some fall shows um you know we do the summer stuff because that's kind of the the norm of what we've been doing through the years and uh we, we just stick with that and then see what else pops up but we love we love playing shows together and as hold my beer we love playing shows together with our band separately and um, we're just, you know, we live two minutes from each other. We we have a good friendship, and it's it's a lot of fun to do all this stuff together. Absolutely looking forward to hearing what that entire record sounds like. Uh, it's so cool, though, man. you got so much, you know, output, so much product lately, and it sounds like you still got, you know, a lot more that you're just kind of, I mean, do, do, do you feel like you're being really productive, like the creative juices are really flowing almost to where you've got to maybe bring it back, like, you know, kind of, control the flow or, or are you just loving what you're doing and it's just just gonna ooze no I, I don't fight it when it's when it's happening because I get through spurts where it doesn't you know uh-huh. so when, when you're when you you ride the wave you know because the, the wave goes away and, and it just happens for everybody you go through spurts of drought uh, creative drought so you know yeah I, I, I've been just riding the wave as, as, as best I can right now and, and uh, really having fun with it and I'll deal with the, you know, I'll deal with the, <laughs> with the uh, rider's drought when it when it hits, and uh, like I always have, and you know, you go through. It's funny how often we go through sp- spots in our career where we think we may not ever write another song. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? You know, and we always seem to c- come out of it. So it, it's it's a crazy, you know, the creative process is really, it's really nuts if you think about it. But uh, it sure, it's fun when it's cr- when it's clicking. Well, speaking of waves, I know you're going to be down here, you know, in Concan, right off the Frio. Um, are you going to get in the river? And also, speaking of, you know, we're in summertime, do you find yourself doing a bunch of cool, you know, shows at the beach and at the river? And, uh, you know, what, what, what's what's the summer landscape looking for you as far as tour-wise? Yeah, we've got some cool summer things. You know, we, we did uh, Padre. We already did Padre. Uh, we, we got the Frio. I hope we get in the river. I hear I hear the water's up. I hear yeah, yeah. We'll be getting some rain. Good, so, um but hope, hopefully we'll get in the, in the river. Yeah, we got Cabo coming up, you know, uh, later in July, and yeah, we, we'll do some some summer fun shows for sure. Uh, that's you know that's what makes it so fun to tour is not just the shows themselves; it's where we go and experience the towns. And 
and that, that makes him an absolute blast for us. So I, I think we have some cool stuff lined up for sure this summer. Now, I was uh, checking out your Facebook page, and, and here's something I just kind of noticed. It's kind of being an older guy in radio and kind of music fandom, I guess. Um, I noticed that you and, and Randy and just and you on your solo stuff, you're very good with social media, putting together what, you know, these TikTok videos and Instagram things and reels and stories and all these things that most people over the age of 30 or 40, you know what I mean, um, would need a son, a daughter, or, you know, some kind of promotional agent to help us with. Over the years, you know, I, you, you've always been gracious and kind enough to do like radio promo like you're doing right now. Check in with a local radio station, get us all excited about the show. That's kind of been traditional, the traditional way that artists speak with media. Um, but man, there's so many different things now between social media and again, you know, stopping your day to record a cute little funny video, you know, um, what, what is that like for you guys? You know, you're grown, man. Do you, do you have a promo person that stops you and, and takes a few frames? Do you guys do that yourself? And what's that like, you know, doing the, the modern promotion these days? Yeah, it's very different. You know, it's it's so different from when we first started, for sure. And so, as with everything, you know, you have to adjust. You have mm-hmm. to figure it out. And, you know, I, I think if you don't, then you're just getting left behind. Yeah. So, um, for me, I, I make it a point to try to learn and try to figure it out. Um, I, I get some help from people, and then I do a lot of it on my own as well. So, I, you know, I think between uh, the, the people we have surrounding me and, and what I've learned through the years, we, we somehow figure out a way to get it done. Um, you know, I have a great crew and a band that, that you know, has great sense of humor. We have a lot of fun. So they'll capture great stuff out on the road and, and they'll come up with some good ideas. My management team is fantastic. So they help me on that as well. And the ideas are often on things and, you know, a lot of it we use, a lot of it we don't. You just kind of, sift through it all and figure it out and you know it's the world we live in now everybody wants to be you know the, the heroes i grew up listening to um you know you couldn't you couldn't see them you couldn't touch them hardly and now you know the day now nowadays you have to be front and center for everybody showing them almost every aspect of your life almost so it's different man it's it's definitely something i've had to learn to to deal with over the years that I've really, you know, I figured out and just try to have fun with it. Again, we got Wade Bowen here. The big show is Friday, June 9th. House Pastor Con Can. It's going to be a great night. Get your tickets at housepastor.com. We've been giving away tickets and meet and greets all week, so we're excited to hang out and get a few minutes uh, FaceTime with you, Wade, uh, this weekend as well, too. So get ready for that. Again, getting back to social media, I saw a really great photo of you and your son on stage. Give me the backstory on that. You know, is he is he uh, coming up to join you in the band at one point? What what what's happening there? Uh, yeah, you know he's he's just having fun with it. You know, we uh, summer started, so he uh, wanted to go out a couple weekends with me, and yeah, you know, I don't know if he's going to pursue it or anything, but I just try to introduce my kids to as much stuff as possible and see what sticks with them, and, and he's really loving playing drums and. Uh, he's a great singer, so, you know, I, I don't know. I just want him to have fun with it and enjoy it like I do, and if he chooses to do something with it, then great, you know. Um, I think it's good for him to just be around it, and I think it's good for him to be around, you know, he and I hanging out together. It's it's a lot of fun, and he loves being around the band and crew. You know, he loves loves those guys. They, they all were so great to him and treating him like a brother, and so it was just a great couple of weeks. I, I really hope. Hope having him, hope I get him out more. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, how many kids do you have, and 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 what what role do you see them? If if you had like a partridge family type band, uh, what role would you see them in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just have two boys. Uh, one just graduated; he's uh, heading to college, and uh-huh. this one is heading, heading to be a freshman uh, in high school. So, they're they're both uh, they're both pretty busy with doing doing what they do. Um, mm-hmm. You know. I, I, I think that uh, my older one is a fantastic singer and a, a great piano player. And once again, he's the same way. I, I hope that if he wants to do it, he's definitely capable of it. He's got a lot of talent. Just both of them do. But, um, you know, I, I just let them jump up when they want and let them experience it a little bit and, and just see if it sticks. Well, we're all stoked to have you back in Uvalde County at House Pasture uh, this weekend. Again, uh, Friday night, and uh, it's going to be a great show. Wade, you got the new album, you know, Somewhere Between the Secret and the Truth, getting ready to release the Hold My Beer Volume 3 with your buddy Randy. What else is uh, coming down the line? Uh, any other projects that you're working on? Um, yeah, we, you know, I'm always, like I said, working on stuff crazy nonstop. So, um, 
Yeah, we, we've got some more more music, no, more new music coming out before the end of the year from uh, from just the way Bell inside as well, along with the whole my beer stuff. So it's gonna, gonna be a fun couple of years. Well, man, we appreciate you carving out some time to, to get us pumped up and ready for the show. We're gonna do uh, your new your newest single, Honky Tonk Roll, which hit number one here very recently. And uh, any parting thoughts? Anything else? I, I'm sure. Uh, I guess we should talk about the band. I mean, how how's the band doing? Who, who's Who's in the band? You still got the same guys, and give us a little idea of what to expect Friday night uh, with those guys. Yeah, well, we got you know the same group uh, of guys, and we got new light stuff uh, added. So we've got you know uh, a little bit different show than what we've had in past years. I feel like it's a it's a bigger and better show than we've ever had. Nice. And it feels good to step, step on stage. It's, it's a lot of fun right now, and everybody's just yeah. We got Nick on guitar and Caleb on bass and. Sean on drums and just having a blast. We're just smiling our way through every night. Awesome, man. Well, again, the show's Friday night. We're excited to have you back in Uvalde County. And, uh, man, God bless you. Thanks so much uh, for taking some time out with us. Again, we're going to do uh, your new number one song, Honky Tonk Roll. This is Wade Bowen on your concert station, UvaldeRadio.net. Thank you, sir, man. We appreciate you. My pleasure. Thank you.